to the left a little bit. Yes. Hi folks, I'm uh, working on some upgrades here to my Aerolite 103, doing a little less flying than I'd like to, but upgrades are necessary. Anyway, welcome. It's coming, it's coming to move again. Okay. Can you get out? Yeah, I think I, I can move it a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, go ahead and turn it so that it's putting more pressure on it. Just easy now, easy right there. That, huh? Good work. Okay. Okay, so here I have the new uh, nose wheel, which is a 13 inch uh, tire. There's the foot pedals and the, uh, the improved um, push pull there on the yoke. Uh, here's another view of that improved uh, the push pull part of the yoke. Uh, much, much better design and uh, much more robust. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Wesley Whitley, the uh, master of uh, aviation and maintenance and everything you name it, this is what the guy does. Okay, new uh, left main gear, and uh, this is the key part right here, getting these, these um, A and bolts here to line up to hold this guy up in true position. Which took a little, little extra time to make it all happen. Okay, here's the new main gear. I uh, finally got the thing all put together and now sitting on its own. So first touchdown of the main gear here. Let me get in the picture a little bit. So these are uh, 15 inch Tundra tires on here. And uh, we have a, a 13 inch uh, nose gear, nose wheel, uh, same thing. Uh, Okay, another view from Bill's hangar. Uh, we got, as you can see, we got uh, struts on the wings right now. Uh, basically uh, stabilizing the airplane while we're working on it. So this is gonna be your pedo probe. Pedo probe, what's, yeah. what's a pedo probe? I mean, it takes ram air. Yep. Be out in the nose of the airplane, ram air comes in. Okay. Yeah. That ram air pressure is contrasted to, to the ambient pressure in the airplane, and that's displayed on your airspeed indicator. Okay, so uh, Wes was showing you kind of a virtual uh, pitot tube, and, and here's how it's actually going to uh, attach yeah. to the nose this of the Aerolite. And we'll sit up in there, something like that, and the nose cone goes over that, and, and we're gonna. Punch a, punch a hole through the nose cone here. Have our pedo tube sticking out the front there. And uh, let's see, what else do we have to say about that? Whatever we say will be held against us or something like that. Okay, so. And I would be remiss if I didn't uh, single out my brother Wes for this beautiful job he did on the airspeed indicator. Here's the pito tube coming out of the nose of the airplane. I've also got some new steam gauge instruments to go in the uh, Aerolite. Give me a little bit better uh, resolution on airspeed and, and altimeter. So uh, just a, a number of different uh, add-ons and changes here. My, my brother is, uh, my brother Wes is, is doing a fantastic job with this airplane. And so we're putting in an altimeter uh, meter now, and uh, and kind of repositioning our our airspeed indicator, and uh, it's uh, basically getting the getting the panel squared away here with uh, again both the altimeter and the airspeed indicator. Okay, working on the instrument panel. Um, I'm punching a couple more holes here, try to line up some gauges and we'll see how they all fit together. I'm excited.
excited about this new landing gear and the hydraulic brake system. Uh, sure seems to be a lot more forgiving when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to making landings and, and uh, practice. So uh, I think this is a good addition and I'm, I'm really excited about uh, getting it to try it out pretty quickly here. Uh, this Black Max uh, hydraulic brake system here, uh, I, I've got that on right now and it seems to be really working very well, uh, the disc brake. So it's, uh, it's something that uh, is a big improvement over, over uh, what I had before. So I got two great brothers, Bill and Wes, and both of them have been so helpful in uh, guiding me uh, through the darkness. I, I'm sure that a lot of you folks have seen Bill before. Bill's a great CFI. Uh, pilot uh, extraordinaire and he has just been so helpful in our in all of our get-togethers here so thanks again Bill sure yeah well uh, tell me what your what your thoughts are with respect to this airplane business and uh, I think there's gonna be a good little airplane you think so yeah you just got to make sure it's gonna keep you out of the woods okay well that that's a good uh, that's a good goal huh <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is the famous airspeed indicator that's going to be attached to the pitot tube. And uh, we've got pretty good granularity here. We don't have to worry about going higher than 70 or 80 miles an hour here. So, uh, so that's what it looks like. Okay, this is another angle of this uh, yoke and uh, the push to talk wiring. Looks kind of like a snake here. But basically, it's going to going to allow us to be able to, to move this yoke around and uh, we're not just yoking here and therefore be able to have complete uh, control here and access to the push to talk button. Okay another view of the Rexon radio uh, in its holder here and uh, it's working out quite well there. Yeah, the aircraft basic frequency is about 121.1 megahertz, going from uh, the lower end of 112 to higher end of 136. It's about uh, two and a half meters wavelength. Oh, thank you very much, Bill. Very cool. So this is the antenna that uh, Brother Wes uh, put together, and he's got all kinds of great ground planes here, and so we're, we're going to have a very effective uh, radio interface, communication interface. So this is just part of what we're trying to reduce here with the splash guard. Uh, all this trash, it gets up underneath the airplane. And this is only under the airplane. The sides, the windshield, and everything else are affected by not having a splash guard up there. Well, I can't tell you how much I appreciate my brother Bill and his metal work here on making this, this splash fender for the nose wheel. Uh, as you can see, I've, uh, I've actually splashed it today a, a good bit here on the landings I've been making. And uh, boy, I'll tell you what, it is doing a fantastic job. Okay, one of the additional things we've been doing is uh, adding uh, camera accessories. And here's, a, here's my Sony uh, action cam and I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, locate the power to it down the wing strut so it routes back down here to my battery pack which uh, so far is working very well. We have uh, our pitot tube up here with a nice uh, remove before flight symbol in front of it. Okay, just need the battery and its case and the fuel tank filled up and we're just about ready to fire it up. Well, hi folks. I got some great sunshine. I think this will hopefully show up a little bit better on this Airlight 103. I'm just thrilled to have this airplane. It is just a joy to fly. And I'm, uh, I'm making some updates on this airplane, which, which I have been working on for a little bit uh, 
you probably seen inside the hangar 15, and all inch. that, but uh, I've got new uh, new landing gear. 15 inch. Tundra tires here on the on the main gear. Got a new uh, nose nose wheel gear here, uh, which you're just uh, adding to the stability and the ease of operation and all of the air light. Uh, got that taken care of. And again, the, the landing gear is now has hydraulic brakes. Um, which uh, definitely are something that, that I need to be very careful using for a safety standpoint. Um, also, we have, uh, we're going to have an airspeed indicator here in the dashboard as well as an altimeter. Working on those uh, instrument in installations right now. We've got a radio system in here. Uh, that basically I can do a, a push to talk on and I think you've probably you probably recognize that let's see if I do a push to talk here let me get my headphone on so I can hear what I'm doing this is on the yoke I have a push to talk button that my brother Wes had uh, put together for me so I don't have to fumble around for a radio uh, and small numbers on the radio so now I can do a push to talk and with that push to talk, now I can record what I'm saying here on the intercom system. But I also I can key up the radio and make my announcements of my intentions as far as takeoff, landing, and my uh, you know information about uh, the field I'm on and the field I'm going to. Uh, this is exciting. I'm I'm thrilled about this push to talk system because it makes uh, a lot uh, more hands-free kinds of. Uh, kinds of things while you're you're trying to cover all the other stuff. Okay, you might have noticed that I, I took the nose cone off the uh, off the airplane here because we're a part of installing the airspeed indicator. We've got a pitot tube system that we're, which will have a lot more uh, reliability with respect to the airspeed uh, with that uh, pitot system. So uh, looking forward to, to making that happen as well. Okay, another beautiful day here in uh, in North Florida. Uh, nice blue skies and uh, light breeze. And uh, of course, I'm going to wait till the breeze gets down very, very uh, favorable for uh, me doing my flight training. But until then, uh, listen, I'm going to close off this uh, little segment and I'll keep you up to date on my progress. So listen, have a great day, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I appreciate your comments, and thank you for the support you give of my channel. Until next time, take care.